I wish. I wish I could see my dad. I wish my family could be together for Christmas. I wish I had a dolly, a new dress, a, new dress. a soccer ball. I wish I could have my mom. I wish my dad could play catch with me. I wish. I wish. Right here in our country, 1.7 million children have a mother or father serving time in prison. That means that 1.7 million children are left behind at Christmas. Left behind without the simple holiday joys we take for granted. These kids need Christmas, and they need to know the love of their Heavenly Father. This calls for churches to take action. So while mothers and fathers were behind bars, kids were left behind. Families torn apart. Churches across America rose up to help. They took tags, delivered gifts to children on behalf of parents in prison. Churches became the hands and feet of Jesus. They shared God's love, brought hope to those who needed it most. Families were restored. Children found joy. Parents experienced God's grace. It started with a gift. This is Chuck Colson. One of the biggest thrills of the year for Patty and me is to deliver the Angel Tree gifts at Christmas time. We love it because we're able to get into the living room. We're often able to share with the whole family. We can talk about Christ. We can pray together. Since 1982, Angel Tree, with the help of churches across the country, has reached more than nine million kids with a gift and the gospel. But there's still more to do. Those 1.7 million kids need Christmas this year, and they need to know Jesus loves them. Starting with the ones right here in your community. It's simple. It calls believers to put their faith into action. It inspires you and your family to live out the real meaning of Christmas. You bless the child of a prisoner with a gift and the good news of Jesus Christ. And here's the surprising part. You'll get back more than you ever gave. You too can be a part of the angel tree tradition.